Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day for all kinds of games. This game is called What We Pretend To Be. It comes out on December 29th on Steam. Uh, super relaxing. Uh, a thank you to the developer for giving me pre-release access. I do really appreciate that. And so I've played this game, from what I can tell, all the way through. Um, and you know, again... <laughs> No hard feelings. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings here, but there's not a lot going on. I just want to say that. There's not a lot. So you can see in the bottom, press F or B on controller to plant a field. So here we go. So this game is, um, it's very relaxing. I will say that. It's relaxing. It's actually very satisfying to plant the wheat. And so basically what's going on here is, uh, it's, there's a war going on somewhere in the distant east. And so every once in a while, the game will just kind of like tell you, well, the war continues. And then, well, I'm not going to spoil it. But um, again, there, there's not much going on. And I don't think, I think the developer knows that. Um, it's a small game. There's the first words in the description. And so, again, I can't tell you... Um, how satisfying it is to plant wheat and then grow it. You can read the description in the bottom. But um, it's exponential growth of the wheat fields. And so you can see... You plant one, and then it'll sprout one more every 10 seconds, 10 times. So you get 10 to 1 growth on it. And then you just kind of wait around, and you plant a bunch of wheat. And then now... I think that's good for now. Let's uh, come over here. And so you press, you come up to the trader. This is uh, Spez the Merchant. You press E to trade five wheat for one supply. So, yeah, now we have 10 supply and we come back over to our, our wheat field. That's, um, if, if it were, if it were real, it'd be a cancer <laughs> because it never stops growing. And I, I'm not like making fun of it. I'm just like saying that this mechanic of the game is the most satisfying. Watching the wheat grow. There you go. The war in the east starts again. Um, it's kind of a poetic game. Actually, I think it's very poetic. So the five supply helped feed two soldiers. Chris the farmer gets drafted. That was the person we were playing. Chris the farmer died. Mabel the builder fills the space left by Chris. And then so... Oh, and life goes on. And so that's kind of the... So this game is trying to evoke um, an emotion, and for me, it did that successfully. Um, the emotion of kind of like uh, not helplessness, maybe hopelessness, kind of like, well, that guy's gone, and we probably knew him for his whole life. And uh, now we just keep doing the same things that we were doing when he was here, even though he's not here. Because life goes on, right? So I'm just going to plant a bunch of fields. You could just stand in one spot like this, and I'm just pressing F to plant a bunch of fields. It costs two wheat to do that. You can see in the top right, my count is going down. And so, yeah, every 10 seconds, um, it, it grows more wheat for you. And you just kind of come through here. You collect it all. And... You can build some upgrades to the town. So here's uh, Spez the Merchant. Press E, and then you can just see in the top right, we got a bunch of wheat now. So I'm just going to hold down E. So the, the only danger here is that if you go under two wheat and there's no more to be harvested, then you don't have any wheat. Um, and so I, th I think, again, back to the, the evocation of emotion... I think the artwork plays well into that, the music even more so. Let's press E here. And so we got a house. Um, so there's there's another upgrade we can get after we buy this house. So press E to shorten uh, by one second wheat grow time. It costs five supply. And then, so if you want to do it again, it costs 40 supply. So you just come back here. We're going to get some wheat, actually like all the wheat. And then we're going to plant behind us as we go going both ways and again I'm just pressing F to plant and then uh, we'll come back to our upgrade house and then press E oh shoot I didn't get I didn't talk to Spaz 
So you can see in the bottom right, there's a red bar. It, frankly, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent. It's never been explained explicitly what that red bar is. I noticed that uh, it moves, it fills up, it empties, and then I think it has something to do with how much time it is before Mabel the Builder will be drafted for the war. So we're going to go right here and trade our wheat for supply. And I'm just holding down the E button. And so if there weren't all this wheat out here on the ground, and I only had one wheat remaining, you can see it up here. Um, frankly, I'd be screwed because uh, I couldn't grow any more. So we'll come here and shorten it again. So now it just keeps going up. So now it's 320. And so this is the game. So to add one wheat harvested per stock. So 50 supply, we'll get that one. And let's just... Uh, so now you can see I plant one and it like... I mean... <laughs> uh, I'm breaking my F button on the keyboard just from planting. So you can see how fast it grows now. And let's go over here. I just wanted to... I didn't really mention this. So that, that's the end of the town right here. And so you can kind of like float in the air, but um, that's as far as we go. And so I think it's kind of a race against time here to see... There it is. So the war in the east starts again. Your town sent 43 supply to the war effort. The 43 supply helped feed 21 soldiers. Maybe the builder gets drafted. Maybe the builder died. <laughs> so the woman we were just playing, she got drafted, she died. And I don't, I don't know if it's... Life goes on. And so then, back to the emotional part of the game, like, to me, then, I'm like, well, okay, life goes on, like, two of the people in the town are gone, and now we're playing the dude that we used to get supply from. But you can, nope, you just go over to the wagon, nothing's changed. Except for we have less people. And shoot, I think I just did it to myself. <laughs> okay, let's go back over here, you can see I only have one wheat. Okay, there we go. Good. That would have been game over there, I think. Uh, although... Uh, I mean, again, like, there's this is a small game. There's not there's not a lot going on here. I think this is kind of a, uh, a poetic, kind of artistic um, attempt at something. And, and I like it. I do like that. It worked for me, like I said. Look at this. We're just going back and forth, just collecting the wheat, collecting the wheat. But, um... Yeah, like in today's modern video game world, I don't, you know, I don't know if there's a lot of room for for stuff like this, just because people want triple A releases with like really twitchy gameplay, and you want to shoot people in the face, and not always, but you know, like, um, so I I appreciate what is being done here in this game, but again, I just don't know if if there's a lot of room for it. Um, the developer probably knows that, but anyway. Press E to shorten wheat grow time. 320 supply. We don't have enough. We have to go back. So I'm going to place wheat as we go. And I'm just going to convert the wheat that we have. But not too much. Not all of it. I want to get used to that. So press E. Blah, blah, blah. Hang on. We want this one. Yep. Right there. And then so we're just going to... I'm, I'm going to need a new keyboard after this. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm like spamming the F button. And that's mostly what the game is. You plant wheat, and, that, and that, that's what it's about. You're feeding soldiers. You grow the wheat, turn it into supply. You send it off to the war effort, and it's just endless. It's had one wheat harvested per stock. Yeah, we'll do that. And it looks like we have a few more day-night cycles here. So this one, I'm just going to stand still and do it. You can see our, our wheat count is actually increasing. Because <laughs> we're standing here just like collecting all the wheat that's there. And there we go. Huge gains without any movement. Again, um, you better have a strong index finger for this one. Because I'm spamming the F button. Spam, spam, spam. Um, there's no menu. That's one thing that I was like... It confused me because... 
um, you know, most games nowadays have menus. So, like, there's no, you can't press escape, you can't press F10. I pressed every key on the keyboard, and uh, there was nothing. So, that's just a heads up. So, I'm kind of waiting. And there, we'll just, we'll go with that. And let's see here. Um, press E to add one wheat. It's 200 supply. Uh, we just had 600. So it must have done it twice, I guess. I don't know. So I'm going to cramp up my uh, my finger here again. Oh, oh, hey. And so, uh, spoiler alert here. I played this by myself, and then um, after this point, Spez the merchant here, he goes off to war and then he comes back. And it's, it, I wasn't sure if it was a correlation between, like, or what made him come back. I wasn't sure if it was because it's Spez and he just doesn't die because he's Rumpelstiltskin, or if uh, we sent off enough supplies that he was able to buy his way out of the front lines and then he survived. I don't know if there was a metaphor there if I, or if I'm uh, reading too much into it. I'm probably reading too much into it. But, uh, yeah, so spoiler alert, he, he goes off to war, and then this is it. This is the game. There's a certain point. Um, I'm just going to plant a bunch of wheat. This is pretty satisfying. But there was a certain point where um, like I, I ran out of wheat, like I mentioned. I only had one left, so I couldn't plant any. And, I, and then so, like, once you get to that point, you can't grow any more wheat at all. And uh, then I just, I turned off the sound and I walked away from my computer just to see what would happen. And I came back about 20 minutes later and it was just, nothing happened. So, again, spoiler alert. I wonder if we can add a house. I don't think we can add another one. Come here and, uh, actually first I want to plant, oh shoot, when I do this it's just gonna collect it all. Okay. So yeah, like I wanted the menu so that way I could just change. Up oh, there we go. The the war in the east starts again. So we keep all our resources, but they take half of our supply. But I wanted to change the uh, the planting button from F to something else. Spez the merchant survived. Surprise, surprise. No, not at all right because that's what we just talked about. The war goes, oh, did it just bug out there? Did you see the, we couldn't even read it. It went by so fast. It's just you now. But yeah, that's, it said, the village has been abandoned. It's just you now. So again, here's the evo evocation of emotion where like, well, if it's just me, yeah, pretending exactly. And so if it's just me, why go on? I went on <laughs> just out of curiosity. And it looks like all of our weed is gone that we planted. Shucks. No, there it is. Just walk back and forth, spam the F button. F F F F F F F F F F F F F And then we'll come here. Trade it in for some stuff, some supplies. And then so it really comes down to how fast can you press the F button? Because everything is uh nonlinear growth, right? Meaning um it's not even. So we have we have one wheat, we place it down, we get we get ten more. And then so it really just comes down to how fast can you press this button because the cost of everything, all the upgrades, they also increase. We're gonna, and I guess we'll go here. We'll change some of this in. I'm glad that you can, they made this process is streamlined to be fast where you don't have to just press E over and over and over because that'd be brutal. And so yeah, the village is abandoned, right? And so, this is the point where I walked away for 20 minutes, came back, nothing had changed. And so I'm glad I got to this point again because, like I mentioned, I ran out of wheat. So I thought that I had messed up the game. So I just pressed E there to buy a new house. Nothing's happening. So um, if you're interested in this game, it comes out December 29th on Steam. Um, it is a small game. I, I think this is just a humble, artistic um, attempt at kind of uh, digital poetry. Um, untraditional, unorthodox poetry, but 
I, I think I get it. And I think I've explained it. And so that's it for this one. Thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day for all kinds of games, including ones like What We Pretend to Be. We'll see you in the next one.